And now, words of wisdom with this guy to my left. Who else used to only jump on certain tiles in the store because the other ones were made of lava? Wild card time here on 4th and Pain. Hi there, hi there, hi there. Now, Adam, here's the thing. WrestleMania right around the corner. Believe it or not, just a few months away. Royal Rumble next month. The build to WrestleMania, I should say, right around the corner. And, of course, everybody's wondering, is The Undertaker coming back? Triple H answered that question not that long ago on the Slammy Award. Said, absolutely, Dead Man wants to come back. He's coming back. So who's he going to face at WrestleMania? That is the question. So many philosophies, so many theories out there, and I know that you have one. I think it's going to be John Cena. I think it's going to be the year that the streak ends. He's not going to keep wrestling for another five years, so there's no point in him ending the streak at 21, 22. So he's going to end it at 20. And who is a current big-name guy? Who's the one guy who could possibly beat him? CM Punk? Maybe. I think John Cena is the only guy. I think it's going to be all things bright, all things G-rated versus all things dark. Well, you know, I got a chance uh, this week to speak with your teammate, Adam Geddes. He and I actually, in the locker room, had an in-depth conversation about this. So many people go into that locker room, they want to talk about pigskin. I say, nay, nay, this locker room is for talking wrestling. So me and Geddes sat down, and actually, it's funny that you bring up the CM Punk idea. He and I actually think that that would be an epic, epic, epic match. I don't think he... It's got to be somebody of the rock caliber stone cold and seen as the only guy that is currently on the roster that could be on that be on that level i agree with you but here's the problem you remember way back when uh, ecw when wwe bought ecw when they had their first one night stand pay-per-view mm -hmm. and somebody at the hammerstein ballroom in new york hung the sign if cena wins we riot yes and so that was at little podunk hammerstein ballroom and now we're talking about the Meadowlands, Giants friggin' stadium. We're talking about an epic riot. I don't think for the safety of the fans and for all parties involved, it's a good idea for John Cena to go over on The Undertaker. I do see your point. He's the only person currently on the roster that is worthy even, whether you like the guy or not. He's just the only guy currently on the level of beating The Undertaker at WrestleMania. So, so you're you're are you saying since you don't want him to face the Undertaker, are you saying he's not going to lose this? The streak continues. The streak may continue. It may. And, and and I don't think it will. I think that he needs to lose eventually. I'm not one of those guys that says that he needs to ride off into the sunset undefeated. Well, that never happens in wrestling, anyway. I'm a big proponent of 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 passing the torch, but remember, your theory is wrong anyway. It's and not wrong. It it's is, correct. No, it is absolutely wrong. And you are why. wrong. No, you are wrong, sir. You and are. Let me you are short. so wrong. You are so wrong. You couldn't <laughs> be any more wrong if you were wrong, Wrongerson. And here's why, Mr. Wrongerson. Mr. G rated over here to my right. Yeah, wrong, Wrongerson. Here's why. Wow. Here's why. We all know that once in a lifetime means rematch no. so you're getting the rock versus you're john cena me, at right? wrestlemania no. i'm dead serious this is exactly I don't what is want going to, to happen see that again it doesn't matter what you want to see mr Rogerson. the bottom line is it's going to be john cena it's going to be the rock at wrestlemania that is the worst insult in history what? Like, you need to go downstairs and watch Barney with my kids right now. What? Wrong, wrongerson? Wrong, wrongerson. No, you just need to I don't... I want to see that. I want to see it at, you know, maybe any pay-per-view but WrestleMania. I actually do want to see it again, just not at WrestleMania. We saw it last year, the whole year build. I want to see Cena. I want to see Undertaker. Whether he wins or not is irrelevant to me. I just want to see it. Give me another pay-per-view big enough to carry that match. Give me another pay-per-view that is big enough to hold John Cena versus The Rock. Name it. Well, I mean, almost. I'm saying that's a, that that would be perfect for almost any pay per view. Wrong. You need the biggest pay per view to no. have the once in a or you, twice in a lifetime see, match. You you just said it yourself. It's not once in a lifetime. If you do it again to begin with, and it just it destroys the whole year long matter. build you up could, that you, they Adam, use. You could do the match two times. You could do the match three times. It doesn't no. matter. It is big enough that it needs no. to happen at WrestleMania. If you no. put it on a pay per view like Backlash, you're spoiling it. If you put it on, I mean, SummerSlam maybe. Elimination but I'm Chamber. I'm not even. No. Oh, man. Elimination Chamber. Absolutely not. Elimination Chamber. Absolutely I would say the not. Royal Rumble, but he's already facing CM Punk. The so elimination, the Elimination no, Chamber. No, here's the problem. You do the Elimination Chamber that's in between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, 
that just ain't going to happen because that'll still buy us from WrestleMania. You're wrong. I'm right. We're fresh out of time. How do you like them apples? I think you need to straddle a barbed wire fence and take off running. I, th- <laughs> I think that you are wrong, Booyah. Mr. Wrong <laughs> This is Fourth and Pain. We'll be right back. <laughs> 